God's wonder working power I'm glad this is a prayer conference that as wonderful as God is God's wonder working power is made manifest when we call upon him God's wonder working power is not made manifest when we need it it is made manifest when we call upon him now this is as simple as this point is it is why many believers may remain disappointed in spite of every truth that we have learned you see one thing with the truth is the bible says and you shall know the truth and if it is truth you have found there must be the corresponding liberty that means whatever you find that claims to be the truth and cannot administer liberty is not the truth hallelujah let me repeat it again for emphasis god's wonder working power is made manifest when we call on him watch this jesus is passing jericho and theologically speaking that would be the last time jesus is patching jericho and then a man who was born blind is that in your bible that man sat there and jesus was passing as if he did not see him and the man began to shout thou son of david have mercy on me and the people there said keep quiet don't distract jesus there are serious things for him to do he says i i use my will to make my matter serious the bible says he shouted the more thou son of david have mercy on me and when that happened jesus hushed and said what should i do for you Can, that would look like sarcasm I mean what would a blind man want it would be a costly assumption to assume that a blind man would want his eyes open because in Acts chapter 3 the crippled man at gate beautiful did not want healing he wanted money is that true yes the Bible says he sat there begging for arms an ugly situation sitting at a beautiful gate and he was asking for arms and then Peter looked at him and said no you need more than arms he said silver and gold I do not have but such as I have give I unto you he says in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth rise up and walk the man was disappointed read your Bible he, he sat down there he didn't stand up it was Peter who reached his hand and lifted him and the Bible says the man leaping stood hallelujah are we together this is a very very powerful point because there are many believers who do not know that the wonder working power of God is made manifest when we call upon him so there are a lot of complaints and lamentations and assumptions God is it that you are watching me like this you are not going to do anything this is how you watch me I assure you while I sympathize with that lamentation by the integrity of Scripture nothing will happen or another consolation we have in our world one day go better oh no the assignment of time is not to change things the assignment of time is to reveal it takes decisions decisions that are intrinsically made or outsourced you have to be able to stamp your feet and say this is the moment hallelujah like someone who has come tonight you can say this is the moment that demonic sickness must leave my body been fine today and down next week I reject it and by the way may I respectfully advise never receive old age as a license for sickness never receive old age as a license for bodily degeneration it is not in the Bible hallelujah whilst it is true that based on our natural law as we age of course you may not have the strength and the vitality of a baby but it is important to know that you can enjoy the requisite level of vitality required to serve the purposes of god until your time is over never receive that if you have received this as an orientation now i respect doctors i respect medical people thank god for your contribution but i'm talking to you based on the integrity of scripture here's what the bible says that they that be planted in the house of the lord shall flourish in the courts of our god are we bible students it says in old age they shall be fat and flourishing there are many trees there are many trees on earth that are older than humans 
and those trees don't plan to go anywhere you see them flourish and refuse to die hallelujah aware that they might be drought they still refuse to die they made sure that their roots went down down enough and here's what the bible says he shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water you know what that means you don't have to wait for seasons again a tree that is not planted by water will have to wait for rainy season but a tree that is planted by the streams of water it is only its fruits that it brings in season not its survival hallelujah the wonder working power of god is made manifest when we call upon him let's look at a few scriptures jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3 hallelujah jeremiah 33 and verse 3 call unto me the mighty one is saying and i will answer thee and i will show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not call unto me he says and i will answer you that means when there is no call there will not be any response call and i will respond call and i will respond call concerning the health situation i will respond call concerning the job situation i will respond psalms 145 and verse 18 psalms 145 and verse 18 i love the bible the lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him did you see the word all there he's nigh not to men of god that call upon him he's nigh not to preachers not to apostles not to prophets he is nigh unto all all them that call upon him all them that call upon him and he says to all that call upon him in truth that means there are people who call upon him but don't mean it they are just saying it so that it will look like they are not idol worshippers but they don't intend to see him manifest jesus where are you jesus come and he says no you are playing games you are not serious it is clear from your hearts that you have other alternatives but there are people who call upon him in truth have mercy upon me thou son of david i have no other god some may trust in horses and chariots i do not even have that luxury there is no horse and there's no chariot anywhere if you do not help me say unto thee O god do i lift up my soul it says oh my god let me not be ashamed is that in your bible it says let not my enemies triumph over me there is a way you can call upon him in truth call upon him in truth lord i have done my best to teach my child the way of the lord but now that he's become a teenager in an attempt to help him to receive superior education he's delving into a practice that is antichrist i have done my best as a faithful parent but i know i am limited this is your child i call upon you arise oh great one and help this child to not become a casualty let this child not become a reason for people to think serving god uh, does not pay and god will one day your child will be roaming around anywhere in the world and mama's prayer has ascended to the throne and the mighty God will arrest him a small program will be happening somewhere and he will just feel like strolling in usually that's how it is and while he stands there the rest becomes history and he calls you one morning and says mommy and you say my son where are you now he says you can't believe it you just guess where I am he said don't tell me you are with the police <laughs> And he says, not anymore. Saul has become Paul. Yeah. Not anymore. And the child will start asking you, did you read your Bible today, mommy? And you say, I was busy. And I say, mommy, you are backsliding already. I need to be the new preacher supervising your consistency. You believe that, shout amen. Yeah. Even if not for yourself, shout for somebody. Yeah. hallelujah the manifest power of God only happens at the instance of our prayer Paul was teaching about salvation in Romans chapter 10 and when he got to verse 13 Romans 10 13 he says whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord 
shall be saved whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord whosoever that blessing and that privilege is for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord whilst you are listening I want you to prepare your heart because tonight we are going to do some prayers there are some we are going to call upon the name of the Lord over certain issues the Bible says ye have not because ye ask not the everlasting father is ever willing to give ever willing to give but it is to them that ask Matthew 7 7 he says ask and you shall receive he said seek and you shall find then he says knock and it shall be open unto you verse 8 says for everyone I like scripture for everyone that asketh receiveth he that seeketh findeth and the Bible says to him that knocketh it shall be open how it will be open leave that to God he says just as you do not know how bones are formed in the womb of her who is with child nor the way of the wind that is how you do not know the works of the works of God how God would do it leave that to his intelligence he can use anybody including Pharaoh to bless you Are we together most times when we say God is going to bless people as we say amen our eye already goes to someone and we tie somebody in our mind that is almost witchcraft and in while we are saying amen you mean amen through that person and you will never let God rest Lord, this man is rich what is it about one million and God says no leave that to my intelligence i want to take praise out of this so he can use somebody who vowed that under his watch you will not rise like abimelech and he gets up and says i had a dream in the night what is this about you that has even made god to come and threaten me take gold take silver you can go this god bar you believe what i'm saying yes sometimes when we hear these things in church we just think it's a nice message prepared by a preacher to excite people believe me with all humility i'm not one of those people i don't teach what i don't believe you can taste and see that the lord is good you can taste and see i join you tonight in your anger over that situation because it must leave you once and for all in the name of jesus christ it must leave you once and for all there are families that have a signboard written on them, Ichabod. People say, once upon a time, we looked up to these people. Once upon a time. No, that statement of once upon a time, we cancel it here. Please shout a loud amen. Because the Bible says, the path of the just. Are you a believer? The path of the just is as a shining light. It says it shines brighter and brighter. That means I should never have a worse yesterday. No. A better, a better yesterday I meant to say. Never. It should never be. And anything that is making your yesterday better than today I cost that spirit in the name of Jesus I cost that spirit in the name of Jesus I cost that spirit in the name of Jesus please sit down this is a strange occurrence of darkness that happens in Africa you see vibrant people who serve God and after 10 20 years one day you will see them somewhere and you are almost running away good afternoon daddy and you are tempted to say what happened you lived in Europe for 10 years you lived in America for 15 years two of your children were professors what is this last we knew your life was an example that inspired us and there are wicked spirits that pick people from the throne and take them back to the village in the grave and you see them they will tell you they will show you photos snapping with presidents with their wives and children in the name of Jesus I'm saying it again God sent me here tonight anything programming failure on your future I stand by the God of heaven who helps men I cast that spirit in the name of Jesus Down. our world is full of people who were great inspirations yesterday and today there is absolutely nothing now 
I believe in seasons but I also believe that a man can be relevant for as long as you are in the epicenter of God's program listen there are things you need to start giving yourself a new orientation about do not believe them no no it says as your days are so shall your strength be 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 apostle you know after covid <laughs> i don't want to tell you what happened to my business but from covid till now we've been going down i sympathize with you i agree with you but do you not know written in your scripture that the axe head can float and return back again is it not in your bible please help me let's become believers tonight except we are just saying okay god well we, we hope we trust you <clears throat> there is a condition upon which an axe head can float back again that is the assignment of the prophetic the prophet said by this time tomorrow that shame and that reproach would have left you he was not just speaking to an individual he was speaking over the entire samaria hallelujah and we live in a world today where people can be so bold to say a lot of things someone looks at you and beats his chest and say over my dead body and tell him it's a risk reverse that statement you have taken a risk that you cannot afford to pay for over your dead body <laughs> he suffered no man to do them wrong yea he reproved kings for their sake saying touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm the anointed is not just a man of God the anointed is everyone who is grafted into Christ by his spirit because you have an anointing within you is that not what the Bible says yes listen these are the systems that make us to walk in victory so when the Bible says now thanks be to God which causes us always to triumph is at the instance of this revelation you see that everything I tell you I show you a scripture that backs it there are many Christians who have superstitious faith that means faith that is not founded on the word faith that is founded on empty confidence God forbid I won't die based on what and we have all kinds of cultural things my blood is white is not black no all those kinds of none of those things has power in the realm of the spirit it is only the word of god to believe that there is something unique about your blood that witches and witches will leave you in peace is a joke even to jesus they came satan cometh to me what immunes you builds a garrison around you is the word of god are we together now what is the basis of your longevity if I ask you? I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Number one. Number two, I set before you life and death. I set before you blessing and cursing. He said, choose life. You choose life by verbalizing it and by walking in keeping with the principles that are pro-life. Number three, honor your father and your mother in the Lord. Is that in your Bible? That your days may be long and that it shall be well with you. You don't want to live long when it's not well with you. Imagine a 90 year old man who started suffering from 12. That is a long time of suffering. The longest we've seen in the Bible is 38 years. It shouldn't exceed more than that. And after 38 years, Jesus came and said, no, stand up, walk, go. And that was it. Every long standing issue here that looks like it will be, the year keeps coming and going, and that issue does not change. In the name of Jesus Christ, long standing issues must answer to the name of Jesus. 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 Please sit down. 
the amen you are shouting and the prophetic words you are receiving are not empty if god opens your your eyes in the spirit it will be as though you are holding a basket and every of these things there are investments you are making there i want you to believe that don't just think you are saying amen and then at the end of it you will believe that all you are taking back home is the bible you brought no no you are taking a lot more that you did not come with and the situations and circumstances around your life will attest to the fact that you are no longer alone listen he said destroy it not for there is a blessing upon it are we together i want us to pray so let me give us one more scripture If it is true that God's wonder working power, by the way, let me, I just feel in my spirit to do a recap of everything I've said. So please do listen in case you're just connecting. Number one, we started by saying that God, three important points that built our discussion tonight, we're discussing on the wonder working God. That number one, it's a fact and it's something you must believe that all power belongs to God. That means God is the all powerful God. He's called El Shaddai, the multi-breasted one. El Shaddai. Number two, that God desires as powerful as he is, he desires for his power and his glory to be revealed in the midst of his people. This should give you confidence because you see sometimes when we approach God, we approach him as if there's a laxity on his path to reach you and it's by your prayer and your cry. When you know that I am more than willing to bless you, it gives you the confidence to approach me. Am I right on that? That was the information the prodigal son knew about his father he knew that his father would be ever willing to receive him back and it gave him the energy to come to himself he said I will arise and I will go to my father I know my father will not reject me 